I just know when Eric DaCosta saw this that he was smiling from ear to ear because as y'all know, he loves him some draft picks. And he is going to be, him and the Baltimore Ravens are going to be rewarded an additional four extra bonus draft picks next year. Why? For what? What's the reason? Because of the comp pick formula. With the comp pick formula, when you have a free agent, when one of your free agents signs elsewhere, they sign a big enough deal to another team, and you don't sign enough free agents to sort of counter your free agents that left, then you get awarded comp picks. And of course, there is a certain deadline to where any signings that you make, they don't count against the comp pick formula, but that deadline has come and went, and these comp picks are looking official. So let's go over the comp picks that the Baltimore Ravens are going to be getting awarded next year. Uh, one will be in the fourth round, uh, one will be in the fifth round, and they'll have two extra six-round picks as well. So four additional comp picks. That's a beautiful thing. But who were the players that made these comp picks come available? What were their contracts? What teams did they go to? Well, let's go over it. Well, number one uh, was Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen is going to be giving the Baltimore Ravens uh, that fourth-round comp pick for his deal that he signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, and the next one, who is going to qualify Baltimore Ravens for the fifth round comp pick, I wish they wouldn't have got it because I wish they would have kept him, but it's Jadavian Clowney. The deal that he signed with his home team, Panthers. And I, and I get the situation. We talked about it, so I respect it. Um, but he is giving the Baltimore Ravens a fifth round comp pick. And the two sixth round comp picks, uh, one was for Geno Stone. We'll be seeing him at least two times a year because he's with the Bengals. And the other one is John Simpson uh, and him going to sign with the New York Jets so he can protect Aaron Rodgers. So this is nice. This is nice because while it does give you a reminder like, hey, you lost some key free agents, ha ha, which sucks. But it does also let you know that they weren't a total loss, even though it takes two years for you to really get the, the benefits of losing them. But, yeah, it's, it's just a nice little bonus. It's, it's just, I guess, yeah, it's like house money. Eric DeCosta playing with a little house money or whatnot. So it's bonus draft picks that you can, you can use them in different ways. You can draft those players. You can, this can be four extra players that the Baltimore Ravens can add to their roster via the draft. Or... You could do it a different way. You could trade some of those comp picks. Hey, hey, for instance, if you want to move down in the draft, you want to stockpile picks like the Baltimore Ravens normally like to do. This year, I was surprised that they didn't move at all. You can do that. Or if the Baltimore Ravens in next year's draft, they're like, hey, we want to move up from spot number 32. We want to jump up a couple of spots from 32. They'll be able to do that as well. But these draft picks, with them being at Eric, Eric DaCosta's disposal, it allows him to do that much more work. So we'll see exactly uh, what he does with these four draft picks. But we just got to wait till next year. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all check out our video that we did earlier on Maryland's own Bo Braid, the safety that the Baltimore Ravens signed. We'll talk about Emory Hunt tomorrow morning. But I'll see y'all very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, not a single update, not a single anything. Leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. I love you. I appreciate you. And we out.